Shalom Aleichem and Baruchim Habayim. Moshe Lanyaru here speaking under the auspices of Kolel Baruch Avat Yisrael in Southern California and Sharetzion in Brooklyn, New York. My friends, this week we'll be reading Vayikra. We start the book of Leviticus. At the same time, we'll have a maftir called Pashat Zachor discussing Amalek, the vile enemy who attacked us on the way out of Egypt who personifies all the enemies of Klal Yisrael. Let us today focus in on Vaikra. Vaikra in English is known as Leviticus, the book of the Levites, the law of the Levites. In it is discussed all the different sacrifices, korbanot, which a Jew brings, be it if he sins, be it if he has a good occasion, Thanksgiving, be it the holidays. This is Vayikra. The rabbis of old, the medieval scholars, debate what exactly does God want from us when we bring a korban? Is it a way to wean us off of idol worship? Or is it a way of giving thanks to God Almighty? Let us view it in a different sense. Let us look at the etymology of the word korban. Korban comes from the word karov. Karov means to come close. A korban is a vehicle for us to come close to God Almighty. That is the idea of a korban. Come close. How does one come close? By bringing a sacrifice. And maybe the key is in this holiday of Purim. This holiday of Purim, we read the Megillah. We make a festive meal. We give Matanot levyonim, meaning we give charity to the poor. We give gifts to our friends called Mishloach Manot. It's the holiday of giving. Giving makes a person happy. Purim is earmarked as a very happy day. And through giving, we raise our consciousness of simcha, of happiness. When we bring a korban, we are becoming close to God. How? By giving Him something. By giving Mishloach Manot, we become close to our friends. When we have a, a meal and invite, we become close to all those who attend. By giving charity, we become close to those who are poor and less fortunate than us. By gi giving a korban, we're also coming close to God Almighty. Karov, bring that korban, give to, the, to Hashem, and you'll become close to him. But my friends, my, the poor man needs my money. My friend loves my presence. My family loves to eat together. God doesn't need a korban. So why is that coming closer to God? No, because we, by we, us feeling that we could give, that makes us close to the body of But you'll ask, there's no Beit HaMikdash, there's no temple and there's no altar. There are no more korbanot. So, how do we come close to God? And our sages have answered us that in place of the sacrifice, there is the prayer. Through prayers, we come closer to God. The prayer of Shachrit, the morning prayer, is opposite the morning korban that was brought every day in the Beit HaMikdash, called the Tamit Shel Shachar. The afternoon prayer, Mincha, is after the afternoon korban called Mincha Ben Arbaim, Tamit Shel Ben Arbaim. Musaf are the holiday korbanot. Therefore, our prayers are what will bring us closer to Hashem Yitbarach. We say in Ashrei, Karov Amonai Lechol Karav. God is close to everybody who calls on Him. Lechol Asher Yikru Be'emet, when we call to Him in truth. Let us use the Sidur as our vehicle to come closer to the Bori Olam. And may the Bori Olam bless us with the simcha 
and with a geula and shalom very soon. Shabbat shalom and Purim Sameach.